Uh, hello dear MC aspirants uh, hope you are all doing great if you are one of those who are planning to join MCA uh, in universities or affiliated colleges in the state of Karnataka through PGCET examination conducted by KEA that is the Karnataka Examination Authority then you must know about uh, MCA PGCET exam pattern syllabus and the best materials that are available so as to score good marks and obtain the best rank i request you to kindly watch this video till the end so that uh, you thoroughly understand mca pgct syllabus and required material so let's begin with the syllabus part first then we'll see what are the materials that are available guys the syllabus for mca is uh, like this the mca syllabus has been uh, divided into uh, five different units for syllabus I'm talking about and uh, in terms of examination there are two divisions part uh, A and part B. So let us understand what is there in part A and uh, what is there in part B and also we'll understand what are those five units uh, that are there in uh, PCT MCA syllabus. So in part A for examination point of view all the units will come. So first unit is uh, mathematics. From mathematics you will get 20 questions and 20 marks. Uh, from uh, second unit computer awareness you will get uh, 15 questions and 15 marks and from third unit analytical ability and logical reasoning there will be 10 questions and 10 marks total so each question carries uh, you know one mark and from unit 4 that is general awareness uh, you will get 10 questions and total 10 marks and from unit 5 uh, that is general english you will have five questions in this section and uh, total five marks so uh, so there are total 60 questions in uh, part a and in terms of marks it is 60 so each question carry here one mark so total it is 60 marks so this is part a and in part b from unit one that is mathematics you will get uh, seven questions but each question carries here two marks so total 14 marks and from unit two there will be uh, five questions each question carries uh, two marks and total 10 marks and from unit three there will be five questions and total 10 marks and from unit four and five there will be three questions total it is six marks so uh, in part b there will be uh, 20 questions but in terms of marks it is 40. so there will be total part a and part b together 80 questions will be there and in terms of marks uh, it is 100 part a is for 60 marks and part b is for 40 marks i hope uh, the examination structure is uh, clear for you uh, but let's understand uh, uh, what and all is there in each unit here so from uh, unit one so unit one you know it's a uh, mathematics so there are actually uh, five sub units in uh, uh, first unit that is mathematics the first one is uh, algebra so in this we have fundamental operations in algebra expansion factorization simultaneous linear or quadratic equations indices logarithms arithmetic geometric and harmonic uh, progressions binomial theorems permutations and combinations determinants matrices sets applications to uh, solutions of uh, simultaneous linear equations so these are all covered in uh, first sub unit of mathematics that is algebra then the second one is uh, coordinate uh, geometry so under this we have these uh, uh, topics covered so rectangular uh, cartesian coordinates uh, equations of line midpoint intersections equations of a circle distance formula uh, pair of uh, straight lines uh, parabola ellipse and hyperbola simple geometric transformations translation rotation and scaling so this is uh, second sub unit and uh, third one is uh, boolean algebra so under this we have basic operations evaluation of boolean expressions basic postulates of boolean algebra and in uh, fourth sub unit that is uh, trigonometry uh, simple identities, uh, trigonometry equations, properties of four triangles and inverse functions. This is what covered under trigonometry. The last sub unit of uh, unit 1 that is mathematics. 
probability and statistics under this we have basic concepts of uh, probability theory averages dependent and independent events frequency distributions and uh, measures of dispersion skewness and kurtosis correlation and regression random variables so these are all covered in unit 1 and under unit uh, 2 that unit 2 is computer awareness under this four main uh, you know, concepts the first one is computer basics under this uh, organization of a computer uh, cpu input output devices computer memory programming languages types of softwares general awareness about internet web applications and uh, database applications and information systems then uh, second uh, uh, main concept under computer awareness is the data representation so under this we have representation of characters uh, integers and fractions then binary uh, ASCII and hexa decimal representations the third main concept is binary arithmetic under that we have addition subtraction multiplication and division two complacent arithmetic uh, floating point representation of numbers and uh, normalized floating point representation and the last main concept uh, under uh, second unit that is operating systems so under that we have evaluation of operating systems types of operating systems then we have functions of an operating system and modern operating systems so these are all covered under unit 2 uh, let's quickly go to unit 3 so unit 3 is related to analytical ability and logical reasoning so under this we have logical reasoning quantitative reasoning and uh, visuospatial reasoning so these are the three main concepts that are covered under unit 3 then unit 4 is related to general awareness under that we have uh, business related uh, concepts finance related industry related transportation scientific inventions governance healthcare and cultural dimensions so these are the main topics that are covered under general awareness and the last part of uh, you know the mca pct syllabus that is general english so under this we have basic grammar vocabulary then uh, comprehensions then synonyms antonyms sentence correction word and phrases and jumbled paragraph so these are the main concepts that are covered under general english so uh, guys this is what uh, the syllabus you have for uh, pgct mca so if you want to uh, you know prepare well for uh, all these concepts which we have discussed now which is part of uh, you know uh, mca syllabus uh, you can uh, refer materials that are available in the market i'll just quickly show you which materials you can refer so if you thoroughly prepare using these materials uh, definitely you can score uh, you know good marks and also get a better rank so quickly uh, check here uh, the study material see uh, the overall study material that you can refer for uh, uh, mca entrance exams across you know india and uh, you can use this material even for pgct mca exam so this is arihanta material uh, the material name is uh, study package so this is available online also and you can also visit sapna bookstall and uh, you know major bookstalls and you will get it and here uh, the entire syllabus which we discussed here so that is uh, covered mathematics analytical and uh, logical ability computer awareness quantitative ability and general english this is the overall material that you can use for your uh, uh, mca entrance exam that is pgct mca entrance exam connected by ke the author of this book is amit m agarwal so this is one part of study material that you can you know uh, use for your preparation and uh, in terms of uh, uh, unit 3 okay test of reasoning and general intelligence is there now so for that you can refer uh, a chance material that the authored by dr rs agarwal uh, this is exclusively for uh, uh, reasoning and general intelligence purpose you can use this book and again this is available in uh, major uh, book stalls and also online and for quantitative analysis you can use quantitative aptitude so again this is from S. Chand publication uh, written by Dr. R. S. Agarwal and uh, this will definitely cover all the uh, aspects related to quantitative aptitude 
and for unit uh, uh, 4 you can refer uh, manorama yearbook or uh, general knowledge book which is again from arihanta and yearbook also you can refer which is from competition success review so i think this is uh, more than enough for your uh, general awareness related uh, concepts and for last unit that is general english you can refer objective general english uh, a material which is again from s chand publication uh, written by dr r s agarwal and uh, vikas agarwal or you can also refer this uh, from arihant that is objective general english uh, which is authored by s p uh, bakshi i think these two materials one is enough actually and for mathematics uh, you can refer your uh, bca material itself uh, because majority of those concepts which are studied already at the you know graduation level uh, that's what there i have not uh, referred you a separate material for that you can just buy uh, one full study material which i shown you uh, in the beginning and if you want to understand each concepts thoroughly separately unit wise then you can buy unit wise uh, you know study materials and you know prepare for examination i think uh, i made it very clear for you uh, and also you understood uh, uh, what is the syllabus and uh, the structure of examination and also the study materials that you can refer for cracking this pgct mc exam so other than you know uh, what we discussed uh, so if you have any questions to ask uh, please put that in the comment box so that i'll be very happy to answer that so i thank you for watching this uh, till the end and i wish you all the very best for your uh, examination and also future thank you so much and have a great time